Hello viewers, this is Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Today we're going to try and get the first melody. Let's see if we can do this. What the hell? Weird lights can talk in this game? Okay. Well, let's fight the weird shining light. Holy! It's an ant! That's not a shining light! Okay, for this guy, we want to first cast PSI Rockin' because, here, I'll show you. He doesn't come along. He's got two Antoids. I know, the, the one is kind of hard to see, but that's the way it goes. So you want to use PSI Rockin'. Now, he's got two Biting Attacks. That was actually his weaker one. His stronger one will deal upwards of 45 damage. It's ridiculous. Keep your HP above 50. If you get smashed, you're screwed. Plain and simple, you're screwed. The reason you got to take off the Antoids is because you don't want to be have him healing you, healing, have him being healed constantly. Don't conserve your PP here for healing because, yeah, he can protect himself with a shield. Nothing you can do about it. That's a physical shield, by the way. He can also reduce your defense, but it's a negligible amount. But he can cast PSI Magnet, which drains your psychic points, and it's about five, six, seven psychic points. So. Don't bother saving your psychic points. You want to get as many rockins off as you can. The key to this battle, like most battles from now on, is speed. You don't take these guys out fast, they will kick your ass. They have a bad level up. But we got healing alpha. I will explain what that does. <clears throat> healing alpha is essentially like the Asuna spell. This one cures cold and sleep condition. Don't worry about the sunstroke yet. I'll get into such sunstroke is later on in the game. But cold is like a small poison that we're about to run into. Very weak poison. But it's annoying. He might as well cure it. And sleep? Well, I wouldn't bother curing sleep. Sleep uh, wears off as soon as you get hit anyway. Sometimes you'll wake up by yourself anyway. Oh, let's go. Oh, I love this. Do, 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 do. I love that little tune. Okay, um... That... Well, I'll show you. My HP and Psychic Points have been restored. Every time you return to one of these places, you get your Psychic Points and HP restored. I never really used it, though. Now, there's one more thing that I tried to demonstrate last time. I tried to demonstrate a sneak attack, so I'm going to do that here. Yeah, you see? That's a sneak attack. The green, basically you'd get your own free round of attacks. Like any other preemptive attack in any game. You also, it's much easier to get an instant win against enemies that aren't facing you. So, I recommend... <clears throat> fighting everything you can here with a... Uh, Sneak attack. Now, I'm going to make my way out, and I'll meet you near the exit to Giant Step. Okay, see you there. Okay, we're back. And, well, let's leave. Oh, one more thing. I got up to level 11. Just thought you'd like to know that. Hey, there's a cop here. I never went to high school. Sorry, I'm on an adventure to save the world. So I'm an ignorant idiot. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm not the one that makes all heroes teenagers so that they can't go to school and learn anything useful. Alright, I'm going to actually beat you at the uh, drugstore from here on, so I'll see you there. Okay, here we are, and I'm going to get rid of this cookie. And actually, no, we, we got enough, we got enough. No, I better make sure. I'm going to fill up my inventory with hamburgers. So I'm going to purchase two more. I already got the money out for it. Okay, now we're going to make our way to the police station. Hopefully I have enough time to do this. <laughs> that guy got hit by the bus. <laughs> what a moron. And the, the uh... Where is it? The uh, police station is down here. I was trying to remember where it was. There it is. 
We should have enough time to make it through this automatic sequence. To Twasen. Yeah, that's the next town. <clears throat> Nothing left to do in Onet, so we might as well go to the next town. Sometimes you'll walk right through that guy. Yes, we must fight the cops. Isn't that lovely? There they are. Uh, nothing to worry about here. Yeah, their crushing chop is their strongest move. Deals upwards of 30 damage. Their standard attack is about 10. I wouldn't worry about these guys too much. But you have to fight five of them. So you gotta be a little careful. Originally that guy he said the average policeman is stronger than Superman. Which would violate copyright laws, so Well, they were afraid about copyright laws, so they, they changed it to superhero. Kinda generic in my opinion, but eh. Take what you can get. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, this series of fights, many people have problems with it. <clears throat> save your PSI. Save at least 20 PSI for... Well, you'll see. Oh, man, I got lucky there. Stop being as aggressive. Yeah, but still nothing too hard. I mean, if you want, you can go up to level 12. That's usually a strong HP. I believe that's a strong HP level, so you get a lot of HP in that level. I think that puts you over a hundred. But I, I don't think it's necessary, truthfully. Thank God there's editing in this world. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be running over. Alright, time to beat up the last cop. Oh, but he runs away. Okay, now we gotta fight Captain Strong. Um, yeah, keep your HP above, above uh, actually, 65. He can lose his temper to increase his offense. He can guard to decrease your damage from your normal attack. His come out swinging move does about 20 to 30. But his grapple and use a submission hold, I mean, that's upwards of 60 damage. What you want to do is you want to take him out fast. Speed is the key. Use PSI Rocket. This is why you want to get 20 PP left. Oh, not bad. Otherwise, it would take 4 to 5 bash attacks. This way, he's, he's going to be dead right here. Stop lagging. I apologize about that. Oh, now we can go to Twasen. But there's one more thing I want to show you, and I'm actually going to fast forward through it to get to it. We're heading to the hotel, by the way. This should trigger a cutscene. This is where you learn where to go. Or is it? Well, yeah, yeah, because if you talk to other people, they tell you Paula's from Twasen. So obviously you should investigate. That guy has the newspaper, but that's all the time I have for today. So I'll see you guys next time when we head for Twasen. Have a good day, guys.